today we are organizing baby boy's nursery all of his clothes swaddles all of the things that come along with the baby so i'm going to show you guys a few hacks and also amazing ways to save money while doing this the first thing i'm going to do is the dresser is all empty but i might like just spray it down again and then i'm going to empty out this closet so finding a spot for all this should be very interesting but let's see if we can make something work I have these storage boxes, which I might still keep in here. I don't really think we need that much storage for all of his stuff. Um, like I'm not even sure what we would put in here. So I might try to keep a couple of these things. This is like Wilbur's stuff to go outside, which is like just really easy to access. And then some like uh, camera stuff. So maybe we'll keep it in here. The boxes are like pretty and look kind of boyish anyway. So it might work. the bar probably going across right here probably a good spot for his clothes so for the bar i found kind of like a cheaper way to do it so we went to lowe's we went to like their closet section and they had some expensive like rods but if you go to the like the wooden dowel section you can literally get the same exact wooden rods for half the price so i think this one was like nine dollars where if you go to the closet section it was like 22 um some of them were 30 so you could always like paint it spray it do whatever you want and then i also just got like sockets for the ends of these that way they can hang up and again they have really expensive ones or they have cheap ones i think these ones were three dollars and change but they do go up to like ten dollars per pack so you can definitely do all of this for pretty cheap. So I'm gonna grab a measuring tape, measure this, and start installing. Trying to decide I should rip these out. I'm gonna test this out with one of the hangers to see how long I need this to be. So I got this pack of hangers, which came with 18 at Target for $2.50, but they also sell them at um, the Dollar Tree. I'm not sure how big the packs are, but um, they might be a little bit cheaper getting in there. I guess it depends on how many come in a pack, but I thought that was a pretty good price. This is so cute, this little elephant, oh my gosh. Probably, can I reach that? My problem is I don't want to make the bar too high where then I can never reach his clothes without stepping on a chair like this. But also I don't want to make it too low where now we lose another shelf. So I'm also thinking, should I put it at the bottom? There's so many decisions, I don't know what to do. I've decided going to rip out these pieces, which I don't want to do, but I'm gonna rip them out. Um, and then maybe lower the shelf a little bit. What I'm gonna do is this is going to be just for like his fancier outfits <laughs> that we have. And then like this won't be hung up, but I'm just using it for length. Um, but yeah, in here will just be like his nicer clothes and then everything else will get folded. Awesome, super cute. I might just leave this um, shelf at this height. I have no idea what I'm gonna even put on these, so let's just leave it for now. 
and see how the clothes and everything fit in. dresser that we're going to be organizing everything into the first load of stuff i just took out we have like all of the swaddles burp cloths and then i have some of these um like sleep sacks that just don't have bottoms to it so i wanted to keep those also separate so i'm gonna see if like this stuff can maybe fit into this top drawer i thought these swaddles are so cute it might be hard to see on camera but this one has like little light blue fish. This one has shells. And then this one has all these cute little sea creatures. I love the ocean. So all these little things just make me really happy. <laughs> I changed my mind. I think what I'm gonna do is actually organize all of the swaddles and burp cloths in to this. It's so beautiful and I love it so much, but it's too big for this dresser. You guys can see like, how big this is and then once i put um the diaper one next to it which is right here it literally the two of them take up the entire thing and then there's no room for anything else um and i wanted to put like some decorations and stuff on it i'm gonna not use this as a diaper caddy i think i just use it for all the swaddles and stuff and then we'll just put like the diapers and creams was that we'll put the diapers and creams in this drawer i don't know why organizing baby clothes and like all of their stuff is so hard i think it's just because like you know having a baby is you want to make things as easy as possible on yourself so i think i'm just like overthinking how to make this as easy as possible for when i'm tired and needing to grab stuff put the burp cloths okay I think that actually works perfect fits in there really well you want watermelon over here you see it so what I'm doing is I have all the laundry that we washed and so I'm just trying to divide it up in the sizes. Oh my gosh, look how cute this is. I really hope he fits into this. It looks so tiny. Um, he is seeming pretty small um, from like the ultrasounds and stuff. So I don't know. They said it will probably be like seven, seven and a half pounds, but I'm also hearing people say, they were told they were gonna have a really tiny baby and the baby comes out big, or people were told they were gonna have a huge baby and the baby comes out really small. So really, we just have no idea. But I guess we'll find out very shortly, just a couple weeks till we find out. Um, a newborn. So we have newborn, zero to three, and three months. So let's try to organize these first, and then we'll get on to the bigger sizes. Here's kind of the setup I have. Um, I have hangers because there's a bunch of outfits that are really cute and kind of just like go together, and I want to keep them um, together. That way I can remember to put them on him as a full outfit. So I'm going to hang these things up hangers with like the little clips only came in a pack of four and they were like three dollars so I knew I was gonna go through a ton of those so oh my gosh this little tushy so cute I figured I would just use clothespins 
um, and just pin it to the inside. So this is actually all we have for newborn. I thought it was so much more and I'm really glad that it's not. I like things very minimal and not to have too much stuff. So I feel like if we need more, we can get it, but I'd rather not start off with a ton. So we just have like little zip ups and then these are pants, tops, all that kind of stuff. Um, so I need to decide if I'm gonna maybe try to put also the zero to three months in here if it'll fit. I'm gonna see how much we have. So one little hack that I'm doing um, that's cheaper, which you guys can do, is you can get these boards um, from Lowe's and basically I'm gonna use them as drawer dividers and it's so much cheaper than going like to the store and buying actual drawer dividers. Um, you can just cut them to the size that you need. So that's what I'm gonna do. So this is all of the newborn stuff and I'm just going to measure this out that way we can slide it in and then this will be all zero to three. So the cleaning supplies that I buy, which is Blue Land, it comes um, like individually packaged in these like little cardboard boxes. So I save them because they're really sturdy and heavy duty. I got the belly out, <laughs> it's getting really hot. But I think they fit perfectly right here. So I'm going to make this drawer. I put like his sleep sacks and then we have all of the little socks that we washed. So I'm gonna put these in here. The first clothing drawer completed. So you guys can see we have all the newborn stuff on this side. This is all zero to three. Um, I do have a label maker where I could like put um, which one is which, but it's really not that hard for me to remember that this is newborn, that's zero to three. So probably just leave it without the label for now. I actually just realized we also have a bunch of little hats. So I'm just gonna put all the socks in this one and then roll these hats up for here. And then I do have this lining, which I was going to put in the drawers, but I kind of feel like there's no point of putting lining in the drawers just because nothing is gonna get dirty and it just closed. So. I think I'll leave this out for now. clothes are put away I want to organize these top drawers here so I think this one is where I'm going to keep all of like 
the diaper stuff and I'll just like keep restocking it. Um, so I have things like some ointment, another diaper balm, diaper rash ointment. So we'll keep that there. And then I'm gonna put wipes down here. And I saw this trick to take tape, tape it like this. And one there, that way when you go to like open this up and take a wipe out, this whole thing isn't like flying everywhere. So we're gonna have that this right there. I'm gonna put diapers all in the rest. The middle drawer I just organized. I put the Frida baby basics kit in here and then just some other um, things like that. I was thinking of probably just putting these with the rest of our medicine, but we really don't have that much room. So since for now this drawer is empty and open, I'm just going to pop it in there. So all the clothes are hung up. So I got this, which I will link for you guys. It came in like a cute little pouch, which is so adorable. They're these little dividers for the clothing. That way, you know what sizes are what. Makes it a lot easier. So I'm just gonna start dividing all the clothes up with these. I am pooped. I've been doing this for a few hours now. I definitely would recommend trying to do this um, before you're in like your last trimester. I was trying to, but we just had so much going on. We weren't able to get to it. And then you kind of have to wait until like, your baby shower when you have all your stuff. Um, but I want to show you guys what everything looks like. I'm really happy with how the closet turned out. So we obviously have the clothes. Um, I decided to keep the bath stuff in here for now. These two shelves are like very sparse. So I just wanted to keep things kind of more free for now. And then once he gets here, we'll see how everything works. And like, I'm sure I'll totally rearrange things. But for now, we'll just keep things like emptier. Um, then we have the swaddle basket. I have a blanket and a hat. And then down there, I have those boxes that were in the closet before it has two of them are for Wilbur and then one of them is like all of my camera equipment so I think I'm just gonna keep them there because they match the closet really well if I can find them I'll link them because they're also really cute for a nursery um and like great storage so I think I'm gonna keep it there because I don't have anywhere else to put them um but then also the dresser I'm so out of breath I'm so tired, I can't wait to sit. But the dresser came out great, so let me show you guys all. So to the side of the dresser is where the diaper genie is. And then first drawer, all of sleep socks, hats, socks. The next one, like I said, this drawer will probably change, but for now we just have the health kind of stuff in it. Next, we have this for changing. Then we have the newborn and zero to three months. Then we have three months to three to six. And then lastly for clothing, we have six months. Um, but this, I'm sure like once we outgrow the zero to three and like newborn, all that stuff, Thing, everything will get switched around and we have bigger clothes downstairs but like I said I just didn't feel like putting everything out yet 
And then here are the sleep sacks that are for, um, like this one's like a medium, this one's a large. So it's not until he hits six months that we can use those. And then last drawer, tons of wipes. I got all of these wipes. These are the ones my sister uses. They're just the Amazon brand. They're like unscented, very basic. Um, but I got all of these wipes for, I think it was like $17. So I decided just to buy them in bulk just so we have them. And then this came with our diaper genie. It's a year's worth of <laughs> the bags. So we have all of those stacked in here. I'm not sure if the wipes are okay to keep on their side like that or if I should have them like this. Like I don't know if the liquid will do anything. Let me know what you guys think about that. But I feel pretty good. The only thing that we don't have room for um, are all of his diapers. Uh, I don't think we're gonna keep diapers in bulk, but from the shower, we do have quite a bit of diapers. So I don't know where to put them. My original first thought was to put a curtain rod at the bottom and get like a cute fabric and then have it, um, you know, just like hidden underneath here. It would just put all the boxes. But like I said, I feel like we need that storage, so. I don't know, but I'm so out of breath, but hopefully this video was able to help you guys um, organize your nursery a little bit better. Maybe it gave you some ideas. If you have any other tips for all of the mamas, be sure to share that in the comments down below, but I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.